I'd better copy this design. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Did that. This looks like the picture from the camera. That's done. The numbers along the edges should help me arrange the tiles correctly. Did that. Haven't done that. Did that. Haven't done that. Still have to do that. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. That wasn't just my imagination. Something down there. Got it. Did that. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you with the movie. I know, but just give me a minute. Seeing that just, well, it, it made my head hurt worse. I keep seeing it when I close my eyes. Haven't done, that's done. Can't check that off yet. Still have to, do, still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Hi. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't need belief. Why not? I have proof. E.V.P. Here's some creepy things from time to time. Check it out whenever you want, if you got the nerve. What made you call Savannah? Jessalyn didn't run away, and she wasn't kidnapped. Savannah seemed to think you'd be disappointed she didn't come here. Any reason why? Savannah's talking to you about me? Yeah, she's helping me with the case. 
Don't suppose you could give me your number? Sure. It's 404-555-4478. Just so you know, she's gonna be mad at you for giving me this number. She'll get over it. Why? What are you gonna do? Do? Nothing. Back long time ago, we, um... She and I were something of a couple. Long time ago. Been a long time since we talked. I think you're just trying to scare me away. Girl? Nancy. Girl. Fear ain't some feeling to overcome. Especially not here. That prickly feeling you get in that old house. That means something dark is whispering your name. Something dark? Trust me. That's as close as you want to get. Goodbye. Later. This looks like some sort of code. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Check. and
Ethel's grave. It must be tied into that picture in the corner somehow. Check. Did that. If I can stack enough things together, maybe I could climb up to that wallpaper. must be about that star sketch. I should copy the image down. Whoa, that was close. Haven't done that. Did that. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. That's your name, isn't it? Yep, that would be me. Well, you don't get less subtle than that now, do you? Nope. Who did this? Let's hope it's one of the living. I do not care if she's an adult. She's my daughter. I should listen. She's not a runaway. She'd never do that to us. No, no, no. It's not cold feet. It's not running away. Someone took her. She is in danger out there. Do something. She sounds pretty upset. <laughs> Clara? I saw Charlotte, and she looked mad. Are you sure it was Charlotte and not someone dressed up like her? She walked right through the wall, and she told me something only I could possibly know. What? I said, it's something only I could possibly know. Not to be rude, but you don't look so great right now. Headache. I think it's the stress. Since I got here, I have been feeling really strange. Colton thinks he was forced into the relationship with Jessalyn. Forced? Please. Jessie's a gem. Any man be lucky to get the time of day from her. Don't tell a soul about this, but Colton, he's got problems. Nothing big, so don't go jumping to conclusions. But his parents told me right away he's always struggled a little. He's a smart boy, but these fits of paranoia take hold of him now and again. Did that ever worry you, considering he was dating your daughter? A mother always worries. I'm not saying Colton is crazy. I'm saying give him some space. He's had his troubles. I saw Charlotte. Pretty scary, isn't it? Yeah, you could say that. Still, there must be some sort of explanation. You might be right. Just... Just what? I don't know. This old house is playing tricks on my head. I'd better get going. Bye. This must be Ethel's grave.
you. I had to come out here because of you. I still don't understand why you're hiding. You don't know who these people are. You think you know who to trust, but you don't. I trust you. You do? Then don't tell anyone where I am. But just so you know, you shouldn't trust me either. I don't have your best interests at heart. Can't do that right now. Can't do that right now. You're looking for something in here, aren't you? Keep your voice down. Do you want me to be found? At this point, yes. You do? Well then, gotta fly. An outburst? That looks important. Did that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. If I can match the colors on the sides of each piece, I should be able to get this back in order. Guard. Hmm. Did that. Those colors along the bottom must be why Beauregard's tombstone is important. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. Hi. I saw the ghost. You did? You don't look near as bad as most who see her. That's nice to know, but she terrified me. She terrifies everybody. Goodbye. Get on out of here now.
Hmm. Did that. Check. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Still have to do that. The missing piece. Now this key should work. Still have to do that. Can't check that off yet. Check. You scared me. Goodbye. Get on out of here now. Ha. Huh. Where do you go when you're not out here? Hmm. Nowhere. So, every once in a while you pop out of existence? I walk around, looking for Jesslyn. Clara mentioned you had some paranoia issues in the past. Is that true? Happiness has never come easy to me. I've had to fight for it. That involved seeing a psychiatrist for a bit when I was a kid. Clara knows why I went. But still won't let it go. Aren't you worried that your parents won't approve of Lexi? Not after all they've done. It's time for them to stop worrying about my approval. Because I am done looking for theirs. Did you ever meet Charlotte? Yeah, I did. The girl, not the ghost. Can you tell me anything about her? Everyone loved her, and everyone wanted her attention. 
but she still made time for me. She was a rare person. She just loved the world, loved her family, living or dead. Or dead? Jess told me Charlotte used to spend time in the crypt because she couldn't stand the idea of anyone ever being forgotten. See you later. Later. Sounds like someone's out there. I should take a look. Charlotte, darling, you're gonna have to help me out here. What? What's he up to? Haven't done that. Did that. This looks like the one in the ruins. I bet the numbers from the coffin will work. Looks like something is missing. I bet I can trace a path from the top left corner to the top right corner.
Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Check. Still have to do that. That's done. Check. Haven't done that. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Looks like it needs a key. That's done. Oh, look. It's little old you. Where's the cavalry? Why are you still hiding? What's to stop me from telling everyone where you are? Maybe I'm the only one who can help find Jessalyn. Did you ever think of that? All right, I won't tell. I really upset Clara, thanks to you. Did she cry? And if she did, was it one stoic little tear like she was going for one of the movie awards? Or was it a big, snuffly, ugly cry? Oh, she's an ugly cry. I hate to bring that to the table, but it is the truth. You made me upset a woman whose daughter is missing. Oh, she's a big girl now. The truth shouldn't upset her. Don't look at me like that. I'm bored down here, and she's done worse to me. Clara said you had a troubled childhood. Is that true? Troubled? No, I was an angel. And I must have been quite the genius charmer, too, because one day they shipped me off, straight to the most elite private boarding school on the East Coast. At least that's what I believed was happening, until we were creeping up the long and whirly black driveway, and I caught my first glimpse of the bars on the windows. I became the first Thornton to be admitted to the Millicent P. Krauthammer Sanitarium for criminally insane girls and women of good social standing. I'm one of the few girls to actually graduate from that program. I got a little diploma that says Harper's no longer a danger to herself or others and everything. And just yesterday, the Alumni Association sent me one of them dried macaroni pictures, inviting me to speak at a function. But as you can see, I am otherwise engaged. Can you tell me more about Charlotte? If I didn't love her so much, I would hate her beyond the great beyond. Why? Golden child, Charlotte. She was perfect in everyone's eyes, even mine. I wanted to be her when I grew up. But then one day I was older than my older sister, and older still today. Where do you live when you're not here? Wouldn't you like to know? And wouldn't I like to know? <laughs> Tell me about Charlotte. She was my big sister. Do you really think she's... I know. How do you know? No, no more. When Shaw died, that was the end of my family. I was left completely alone. All I have to call home are those memories. If I share them, they won't be mine anymore. That's not true at all, says the girl who's never seen a drop of rain fall on her perfect life. I lost my mom when I was a girl. Oh, then you must be an expert on everything. But sharing my memories of her always made her seem closer, not further away. You've seen her? What they've made her into? You think I want her closer? And people think I'm crazy. You're crazy. Gone with you. Go now. <laughs>